Imagine a nuclear disaster that dwarfs Chernobyl in its severity, yet remains largely unknown to the world. That's the story of the Kishtim accident. In the heart of the Soviet Union, nestled within the Chelyabinsk region, lay a secretive city, a closed city as it was known. This was not a place marked on maps or mentioned in travel guides. It was home to the Mayak Production Association, a nuclear facility where safety was often sacrificed for the sake of progress. Unbeknownst to the world, this facility would become the epicenter of one of the most devastating nuclear disasters in history, the Kishtim accident. Let's travel back in time to a period of intense Cold War rivalry, where the race for nuclear supremacy overshadowed concerns for human safety. In this covert city, scientists and workers toiled away, oblivious to the impending catastrophe that their actions would trigger. It was in the year 1957, a year etched in the annals of nuclear history, not for a triumphant breakthrough, but for a disaster of unprecedented scale. The Kishtim accident, a chilling testament to the dangers of nuclear power when wielded irresponsibly, was about to unfold. The secrecy shrouding this city and its facilities was not just limited to its location. The aftermath of the disaster was also wrapped in a veil of silence. The Soviet authorities, fearful of international backlash and keen to protect their nuclear ambitions, kept the incident a secret from the world. The people affected were left to grapple with the health and environmental consequences, their suffering silenced by the iron grip of the state. Yet the truth has a way of surfacing. Decades later, the world would come to learn about the Kishtim accident. The scale of the disaster shocked the international community. The radioactive cloud that the incident unleashed contaminated a vast area, leaving a legacy of environmental damage and human suffering that continues to echo in the present. The Kishtim accident, a disaster kept hidden from the world, has left a legacy of contamination and human suffering that continues to this day. On September 29, 1957, a seemingly ordinary day turned into a nightmare in Kishtim. This was the day the clock started ticking down towards a catastrophic event that would forever be etched in the annals of nuclear history. In the heart of the Soviet Union, nestled among its closed cities, lay the Mayak Production Association. This was no ordinary factory, it was a hub of nuclear research and production, a place where the boundaries of science were pushed, often with scant regard for safety. The plant was notorious for its poor safety practices, workers were often seen handling radioactive materials with minimal protection. Safety it seemed was often sacrificed at the altar of progress. The race to gain nuclear supremacy had blinded the authorities to the potential dangers lurking within their own facilities. The culture of secrecy surrounding these facilities only compounded the problem, making it nearly impossible for the outside world to scrutinize their practices. On that fateful day in September, a cooling system failure in one of the waste tanks led to a devastating explosion. The blast was equivalent to 75 tons of TNT. It catapulted a plume of radioactive dust into the sky, spreading a deadly shroud over the surrounding area. The immediate aftermath was chaos. The explosion itself was powerful enough to destroy the entire waste storage facility, leaving behind a scarred and radioactive landscape. But the true horror was in the invisible enemy that now hung in the air, a cloud of radioactive particles that would poison the land and its people for generations to come. Despite the enormity of the disaster, the world remained oblivious. The Soviet authorities, in their characteristic style, kept the incident a secret, even denying it outright when rumors began to circulate. The workers, residents, and those in the immediate vicinity were left to face the aftermath of the explosion with little to no assistance. In the blink of an eye, Kishtim became ground zero for the world's third worst nuclear disaster. This was not just a tragedy of monumental proportions, but also a stark reminder of the dangers of nuclear power when not handled with the respect and caution it demands. In the aftermath of the explosion, a radioactive cloud spread over a vast area, contaminating everything in its path. This fallout was no ordinary rain, it carried with it a deadly cocktail of radioactive isotopes, each with a unique and dangerous legacy. It seeped into the soil, the water, the plants, and eventually, it found its way into the bodies of the local people and animals. The land, once teeming with life, was now a desolate and toxic wasteland. The fallout swept across the region carried by the winds it left no corner untouched. It was indiscriminate in its reach, affecting both the environment and the local communities. The lush green forests turned into silent graveyards. The rivers ran with a deadly glow and the air hung heavy with an invisible menace. 
And the people, they bore the brunt of it all. Sickness, mutations, unexplained deaths, these became the new normal. Yet amidst all this, the Soviet government maintained a disturbing silence. There were no warnings, no evacuations, no efforts to mitigate the damage. The people were left to fend for themselves armed with nothing but their ignorance. The government's veil of secrecy only added to the fear and confusion. The truth of the disaster was buried under a mountain of lies and denial. Information, or rather the lack of it, became a weapon as potent as the radioactive fallout itself. The people were not just battling radiation sickness but also the crippling fear of the unknown. What was happening? Why was it happening? How bad was it? These questions haunted their every waking moment, yet answers remained elusive. The government's iron curtain hid the ugly truth from the world and more importantly, from its own people. The fallout from the Kishtim accident was not just physical but also psychological, as the Soviet government's secrecy left its citizens in the dark about the true extent of the disaster. The Kishtim accident may have occurred over 60 years ago, but its effects are still felt today. The radioactive cloud that was released all those years ago has left an indelible mark on the region, a silent, invisible scar that continues to impact the lives of the people living there. Despite the passage of time, the full extent of the disaster remains shrouded in mystery. There are ongoing efforts to uncover the truth, to piece together the fragmented puzzle that is the Kishtim accident. This is no easy task. The Soviet authorities, in their bid to keep the incident under wraps, left behind a convoluted trail of half-truths and misinformation. Yet, the quest for truth is about more than just historical accuracy. It's about justice for the countless individuals whose lives were irrevocably altered by the disaster. It's about providing compensation to those who have suffered and continue to suffer from the long-term health effects of the radiation exposure. But the lingering effects of the Kishtim accident extend beyond the borders of Chelyabinsk. They serve as a sobering reminder of the ongoing safety concerns in Russia's closed cities, secretive areas that house important weapon sites and research centers. These closed cities with their allure of better living conditions and privileges are not without their dangers. Recent incidents such as the 2017 Ruthenium 106 cloud above Europe underscore the potential for disaster that lurks within these enclaves. The Kishtim accident serves as a stark reminder of the long-lasting effects of nuclear disasters and the importance of transparency in dealing with such catastrophic events. The Kishtim accident has left an indelible mark on history, but it also offers important lessons for the future. The Kishtim disaster, for all its secretiveness and the devastation it wrought, serves as a stark reminder of the importance of safety practices in nuclear facilities. It highlights the dire consequences of neglect and disregard for worker protection in the quest for nuclear advancement. The incident also underlines the critical need for transparency from governments, especially when dealing with nuclear energy. The Soviet government's decision to keep the disaster a secret for over three decades not only led to widespread health issues and deaths among the affected populations, but it also hindered efforts to provide appropriate compensation and support. Their reluctance to acknowledge the full impact of the event continues to pose challenges even today. Beyond the immediate aftermath, the Kishtim accident underscores the long-term effects of nuclear disasters. The Chelyabinsk region remains highly contaminated to this day, a grim testament to the lingering effects of nuclear fallout. This is a lesson we can ill afford to ignore as we continue to harness nuclear energy for our needs. The story of Kishtim also highlights the allure of closed cities. Offering better living conditions and privileges, these closed cities often attract individuals seeking a higher standard of living. However, the lack of transparency and ongoing safety concerns pose significant risks, as evidenced by the Kishtim disaster. The Kishtim accident is a somber lesson in the high cost of secrecy and neglect. It's a reminder of the immense responsibility that comes with the power of nuclear energy. By keeping the memory of Kishtim alive, we can ensure that we don't repeat the same mistakes. By remembering Kishtim we can ensure that such a disaster never happens again. It's a story that needs to be told, a lesson that needs to be learned.